I got involved in politics to help people. I, uh, I feel that people need a voice and they deserve one that is a good listener first. Uh, and I think that being an MP is a, is a good kind of combination of good listening skills, but also good executive capacity. It was something that was encouraged by many individuals around me and something that I gave great consideration to. And uh, at the end of the day, ended up saying, you know what, I, I think I can make a difference. I think I can positively impact my country and, and serve the nation of Canada. I came as an immigrant to Canada and after 25 years here, I thought that I could probably, uh, time for me to serve, Canada served me well. And I thought uh, if I can spare some of that time uh, to serve Canada, that would be a, the greatest honor. Obviously politics is important, it touches uh, every aspect of our lives and, and I felt that uh, getting involved uh, and, and being a part of that process by running was, was the best way that I could help make some positive changes. It really just felt like a real sense of calling at the time, uh, which I think was important um, because as anything, there was various challenges along the way. And I think with that sense of calling, it allows a person to kind of push through uh, when things get hard. The sense to serve is really strong in me and I felt a real duty to be able to, uh, to, to do that for my community. I've always taught my children that we should give back to the community that's given so much to us. So that was my way of giving back. I came here as an immigrant with my family and this country gave my family so much opportunity. I wanted to give back to my country and help give other newcomers and Canadians opportunities that my family had to become successful and live the Canadian dream. I had attended a meeting on public transportation and I listened to the conversation go on about you know, different thoughts and opinions about uh, how people view uh, public transportation. And I just thought that's really interesting because many of the people who are making those decisions do not take public transportation. And it made me wonder about all the other policies that are being decided in these kinds of spaces that do not reflect the entire city. Uh, and that's what pushed me to run. I decided to run for political office because I was very tired with environmental laws as they were written and how the government of Canada at the time, which was you know, pre-2015, uh, engaged with First Nations. And so I wanted to have a direct impact on being able to address those, make sure we have more robust laws, and to ensure that we have an honourable way of partnering with Indigenous peoples. It became really clear to me that these big issues that we're facing, climate change, the housing crisis, well, cities can make big strides, they need a federal partner. And I had a lot of trust in my council colleagues to push forward on the important issues uh, when it came to housing, when it came to climate change. But I looked at our federal government and there's just so much more we need to do if we're actually gonna tackle these issues. I'm a mom, I've got two little boys, and really it was, after having my second child, um, being on maternity leave as well, you've got that time to really think about life and kind of contemplate things. And uh, you know, I just, I couldn't look at them and not do more as far as climate change, indigenous reconciliation, uh, mental health awareness, those are kind of my top priorities. So I thought, so let's take the plunge and give it a try. I'm of the thought that uh, you better get involved if you want to impact change. And there is a real need for a voice for rural Canada. It, it takes up so much of our, our space but yet it's more densely populated in that urban voice. So I figured it was, it was time for a good voice to come to, to, uh, um, to Ottawa and represent rural Canada. I'm a proud Albertan and, uh, and those, that motivates me to get involved in politics. I want to defend the interests of our province, the interests of our people in Northern Alberta. Defend, defend uh, folks that work in outdoors, uh, so to speak. And so uh, those are the kind of the reasons I got involved. And uh, yeah, the, being a member of parliament has been the, the luxury of my life, uh, for sure. I just have a great passion for this country. I was born in a village in, in Punjab, India, and we have a very typical immigrant upbringing in Canada. And just the opportunities we've been given, I don't think it's possible anywhere else. I think it has to be kind of organic. It's not somebody that groom, is groomed to be in politics. I think we need every aspect of Canadian life representing Canadians in the House of Commons or on local regional councils.